Welcome back to Unicorn Dust Designs. If you are joining us for the first time, my name is Sammy and on this channel we do DIYs, wood signs, and there's always tons of laughter to be had on this channel. So if you think you'd be into that, then make sure to hang around for these DIYs. I wanted to give a quick Thank you to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. I appreciate their support so very much and their products. So let's go ahead and get right into this video. For this first DIY, we are going to start our, <laughs> out with this sheet music that I just Googled and printed in landscape. I, you guys, okay. So you guys can do this with like a tea bag. My preference is uh, soaking it in coffee and then baking it in the oven. I will drop a link down in the description box for a video that I have done that in before. I was truly being lazy and was like, you know what? I'm gonna try the antique and water. It seriously comes out looking like I took a brown marker and colored the entire page. So. I wish if I could do this again, I would have just done the coffee, but it is what it is. So I am just taking a chip brush. I am taking my antique wax and water mixture. I am putting it over my sheet music, Joy to the World. And then I am going to crinkle it up while it's damp and then continue to dry this. I wanted it a little bit more crinkly. I wanted it old looking. So I, after I was done, I did it a little tighter and then I'm gonna flatten it out. There we go, easy peasy. Now, this uh, beautiful frame actually came from Dollar Tree. It has the mat already in there, which is perfection. And I am gonna go ahead and take it apart. Now, um, I do end up changing this because I was like, how am I gonna get the sheet music to stick? Yada yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll show you guys later. So now we're taking these little round wood pieces. I got these from Walmart. I think they come in a pack of like five or six for 98 cents, maybe a dollar 98. I'm not sure. I know they are really inexpensive though. I'm gonna paint all of them plaster. Then after the plaster dries, I'm gonna hit it with some antique wax. You guys know me, I like it. I, I feel like it just adds a little bit more dimension than leaving it flat white or plaster. After this, we're gonna take our Dollar Tree letters. Now I'm putting them towards the bottom of the round because we will be putting greenery at the top. If you like simple, then make sure just to stick them right in the center here. Um, after I am done putting those on, I'm going to hit them with some Mod Podge. And the reason I did this is because I wasn't sure if I was gonna put it in my booth or not, and I really don't want those stickers popping off on us. So I'm just coating it with a light coat of Mod Podge, my easy squeezy from Dollar Tree Mod Podge. And then I'm gonna hit that with the heat gun and let it dry. Now I'm taking some greenery. I believe these are the Walmart picks. And uh, I would say you guys, the more simplistic on the greenery, the better, cause you really want the lettering to stand out versus your greenery. That's why I went with a more simple pick here. So I put two on each side. Then I play around with some ribbon. Hold on if I ever get past this part. And I'm gonna do some finger bows. I will, I'm the worst, but I will try and remember to link it down below. Um, I had some star red ribbon and then I ended up, nah, let's just go with plain red ribbon. So you guys, I am going to repeat this exact same step with the other two, um, circles you can change them up but no don't change them up I, I think they all should look the same okay so now we got our sheet music and our frame so you can see right here I end up having to um okay I do take it out then I'm going to take that cardboard piece out I'm going to attach the sheet music to the mat in there then I put the cardboard back in. I'm even gonna put the glass back in. That way we don't have the paper like bowing in on us. I needed a firm backing because we're gonna go get those round pieces and we're putting them in our frame. So as you can see, I do have to tuck them into the mat just a little bit. This is also why we're not using the glass because they wouldn't have fit. So I'm just gonna hot glue these on here, you guys. And that is it. You can attach a hanger 
you can put it like sawtooth on the back but i think this looked so cute i wish the joy to the world sheet music was a lot lighter but you know what it is what it is and i think it actually looks so adorable let me know what you think all right, you guys, that was the first DIY. So you'll notice a trend if you didn't notice in my thumbnail, which is the picture before you click on the video. Um, I decided to do a bunch of DIYs based off of sheet music. And at first I started printing them uh, via Google, but then I was like, oh, this is gonna be so much easier if I just go pick up scrapbook paper. So that's what I did. I went to Hobby Lobby and I ended up getting quite a few different, um, you know, sheet music. So it's really up to you and your preference on what you want to use for these, but you can definitely just search any kind of Christmas sheet music on Google and it'll pop up and you can easily print them. So keep that in mind for all these DIYs today. Um, I wanted to give a very awesome shout out. I am getting the pleasure to work with uh, Leonep from DIY Beauty on Purpose today. I haven't worked with Leonep in so long and y'all, she was the first YouTuber when I started my channel that I reached out to and she responded to me and she was so helpful. I, she like exchanged numbers with me. I was able to ask her so many questions and um, it, it's just such a great feeling to know there's people out there that are willing to help you and befriend you on this platform. So you guys go check out Leon Epps channel. She is super creative. She does wood. She does Dollar Tree. She does like everyday home decor. She, she is a very talented woman. She's an amazing person. And I think you guys will enjoy her and I will drop her video link down in the description box for you. So make sure you go check her out after this video. And y'all with that said, you know, the drill, if you're digging me, if you're digging the DIYs, if you are digging this video, then make sure you like, make sure you subscribe subscribe and check the description box because I do have an Instagram and I do have a TikTok. So please go follow me over there. All right, you guys, let's get back into it. All right, here's another easy one for you. I am taking one of the Christmas tree ornament signs from Dollar Tree. We're going to pop that silver top off, but make sure to keep it because we'll be reusing it. And then I am going to take my collection of Hobby Lobby sheet music. I chose this beautiful gold one. And we are going to go ahead and just like flip that around. I'm going to trace it out. And, oh, you guys, I found the chili covered um, watermelon suckers at our gas station <gasps> to die for. Anywho, I'm going to cut this out. I don't think I need to show you. You guys know how to cut it out. And then I am going to apply Mod Podge. Can I just tell you? I don't know how I got like the biggest bubbliest bubble on like putting the scrapbook paper on over the Mod Podge because seriously, this is a thick piece of scrapbook paper. So I was like, how does that even happen? I don't know, but you'll see, <laughs> you'll see what I'm talking about. Anyways, it is what it is, right? You just work with it. Okay, do you see that bubble? It's hideous. And of course, so anyways, I put this silver back on. I really liked the silver and the gold contrast. I know it's not a lot of people's preferences, but you do you, okay? So after that, I'm gonna get some greenery. Uh, this is a pick from Walmart. I am going to deconstruct it because that's what our, like us crafters do with everything. And I'm going to hot glue everything on individually so that I could play around with the placement. Now, why I didn't put it on the right side where the bubble is, <laughs> you guys, I don't know, but that would have probably been the wiser. So then taking this little wood bead strand, one of my amazing subscribers sent it to me. I am hot gluing that to the middle of our pine branches. And then I am going to also get, it was, I don't know what they're called, you guys. It was the pack. It had like pine cones in it, some gold, some red. It was bags at um, Dollar Tree in the floral section. Anywho, that's where I got this stuff from. And I'm gonna go ahead and play around with it. I put some gold in there. I put some plain little baby pine cones on there. And I'm just trying to hide the top of those branches so you can't see it. 
Then taking these wood stars, these are also from Dollar Tree from this year's Christmas collection. I'm going to hit those with some crimson red. And then while they are still wet, I am also going to grab some antique wax and put that over just to darken up the red a tad bit. I don't know why I don't like it like this bright, bright red. But I'm gonna hot glue those to the end. And that's all you guys. Now you can add lettering to this, put Mary and Bright. I mean, there's so many options that you can do, but I really liked the simplicity of this because of the metallic gold that's shining through. And of course I needed to add red because it's Christmas. So y'all, I hope this inspires you to put your own twist on it or make it exactly like this. It's totally up to you, but I think it came out adorable. And like I said, so easy. All right, now this one's like super easy. So taking candles from Dollar Tree, this is some red sheet music from Hobby Lobby. This actually has a Christmas song on it, so I love it. I do wish I would've got like red or green candles. So keep that in mind if you wanna recreate these. Then taking these scissors, you guys, I don't know where these scissors came from, okay? But I found them in my stash and they worked out perfectly. Now, if you don't have these scissors, you can definitely just tear the edges off if you don't want like the, the crisp lines. So I do that for both sides of my scrapbook paper. Then I'm going to turn them around and I'm going to take my handy dandy squeezy Mod Podge and I am going to coat this. Now, I was thinking maybe you could use a glue stick, but I feel like it would pop off. Then I was like, could you use hot glue? But we know how hot glue and glass reacts to each other. So I would say go with Mod Podge. Then I lay it on my candle and I could have measured so I didn't waste the paper, but I wasn't thinking here y'all. So I just wrapped it around and it worked out perfectly fine. Then I made sure that I got the seams so it didn't come out. So I applied a little bit more Mod Podge, closed that up and I'll be doing the same thing to my second candle. Now, once I'm done, I get some twine. I'm going to tie it in a double knot around our candle. And then I'm going to apply just a little bit of hot glue to the back so that our twine doesn't move around. Then I'm gonna wrap it around to your preference, however thick that you want it. And then I am going to, we're gonna skip this part because I did not do a great job of showing you guys what I was doing. So now I am going to tie this, I tie the twine in a bow. Hold on you guys, let me, I get a better shot. Here we go. And then taking more of that stuff, the bag of stuff I got from Dollar Tree and some pine branches that I got from another Walmart. Sorry, you guys, the kids just got home, so you're probably gonna hear them in the background. I apply those and that's it. I mean, oh, no, no, these little cream, little berry things I stick in there too. Let me see, I show you, I show you. There we go. And now, that was it. And look at how cute these are. I love the red music notes. Um, I love the Christmas song on them. I love the simplicity of the greenery and I hope it inspires you because there's so many different ways that you can make this. All right, so this one, you guys, we are going into our Cricut design space. I'm gonna select a circle. Let me tell you, this is gonna be the easiest DIY ever. I am going to unlock, then I am going to go up to the top and change my size to two by two. And then you guys, I'm just going to hit duplicate on the top right, like a million bajillion times. If there's an easier way to just like hit it and put fill page, please let me know. So then I put make it. And of course me, I'm like, oh, I could fit two more on there. So of course I have to go back and duplicate two more times. If you are somebody that likes to make cards or do a lot of paper crafting, you guys, options are endless here. So then I'm going to go ahead and press continue and you'll see up top, it says set base material. So I'm going to go to popular and then you can see we have like medium cardstock, light, vinyl, iron on fabric. But if you go up to browse all materials, y'all would be shook with how many, I mean, look at this. 
I'm just going to scroll through really fast. So if you guys don't like fast, please close your eyes. But look at all this. I mean, options are seriously in lists here, but I don't need any of those. I need the medium cardstock because it is a thicker scrapbooking paper or cardstock, whatever we want to call it. And then we're just going to go ahead and press continue. And then we are going to go over to our maker here, press the green button. I also make sure to use a light grip mat. That way when I pull my paper away, it does not rip it, which we do not want to happen. And this literally took the machine like 30 seconds to cut out. Then as you can see here, I just pop it away, pop all my little circles off of here, and I'm ready to start crafting. You could even make little pieces of confetti with it. Mm, so many options. So now I'm taking these styrofoam cones. Uh, these are from Dollar Tree. And I am going to start hot gluing our circle, circle scrapbook, scrapbook circles. You know what I'm, you pick it up what I'm putting down. And all I'm doing is overlapping each of these circles. Now, as you go up and you can see, I leave a little overhang on the bottom because we're going to put a candlestick under this tree. So leave a little overhang there. Then as I go up, you can see I'm now hot gluing in between the bottom layer. Does that make sense? I know you guys are picking up what I'm putting down by just watching it. So, you know, just don't listen to me. Okay. So then I continue to hot glue as I go around and I feel like I'm gonna make you watch this for a very long time when I should have cut all of this out. So hi, my name's Sammy. I'm like a master editor of YouTube videos. And if you guys couldn't tell, here's the proof right here. You would think y'all, man, this girl's a mess. So anywho, as we get to the top, make sure you leave a little bit of overhang on the top, just a wee bit. We don't need a lot, but you don't, want we want it to look a little bit more pointed at the top and you also don't want to see that flat part of the cone there so make sure you leave a little bit sticking up okay so then i'm going to take these finial caps i get these at walmart they come in a pack of eight with two different sizes in them i'm going to take rich black by folk art i'm going to paint those up <coughs> excuse me and I did make two trees, that's why you see two of them here. And after that, we're gonna go ahead and let those dry. Then I'm gonna take a glass candlestick from Dollar Tree. I did spray paint it matte black by rust -Oleum. I am now going to apply some hot glue to them and this is gonna be our base. And that is it, you guys. It was so easy, especially because I did not have to cut these out like one by one and they turned out they almost look like regal you know the, just like the simplicity the gold so beautiful okay are you guys ready for this diy because it's kind of like cheating because it's so easy so another scrapbook paper i just looked up banner on the cricut and i found these it cut it out for me even cut the slits out on the top to like string my ribbon through and as you can see the middle one <laughs> I put that one sideways to cut so yeah just ignore that don't do that okay I was just trying to conserve paper and I didn't want to use another sheet so taking our IOD letter stamps I will leave my stockist link down below in the description box Bonda from the painted heirloom but I will also say that um, you could go to iron orchid designs.com and see if you have a local retailer in your area but as you can see these are so easy to use I just peel it from my sheet that it comes on I just took a clear uh, cutting mat and that's what you'll see me stick it on right here hold on I gotta change I gotta change my tv show okay all right so you'll see me stick it on this clear thing then I take my IOD black ink and then I just press it on there. And you guys, these are reusable. That is what is so amazing because I don't have to go cut vinyl every single time. I could use these, put them away, pull them out whenever I need them. So absolutely love these. So I'm gonna continue with the Y and then 
like I said, this is just so easy that all we're going to do now is take some twine. The Cricut already put the slits up top for me so I didn't have to hole punch these. And I am stringing the twine through the back because the letters are a little higher up. So I didn't want it covering. And y'all, imagine, like you can make a happy birthday banner with this. If you have like a staircase, you can, you know, put like Mary and Bright. I mean, this was just so easy not to do a bigger one. So I might have to do it for my staircase because yeah, it'd be cute. Sorry, <laughs> my thread's starting to get dry. Okay, you guys. I hope you like this. I hope it inspired you. If you do have a Cricut, get it out of the box, okay? There, there is no need to keep it in the box and be scared. Just take it out, have fun with it, play around. I promise it is easier than you think. And you guys, I appreciate you being here with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and these DIY ideas. And I will be back on Saturday with some more DIYs. Bye. I literally just brushed my hair. How? How, did, how does it get like that? And this y'all is nice and thin all the time. Y'all, if you have not watched Christmas Chronicles yet, one and two with Kurt Russell, Goldie Hawn, Please do so. Kurt was like the hottest Santa <laughs> I've ever seen. <laughs> so watch it. It's actually a really good movie too. Movies, because there's two of them. Okay, anyways, let's get into this. <sighs> I just wanted to show you guys this. Don't be jealous, okay? I'm not showing you this for you to be jolly. I'm just showing it to you. Oh <gasps> my gosh. Okay. So I've shown you guys my Hocus Pocus one. This is, if you go follow her on uh, YouTube, Moners Market. Um, uh, her name is Brenda. She's the sweetest gal ever. She made me a Hocus Pocus one. I reached out to her and said, can you make me a Santa Claus one from Tim Allen? Because now I'm going to start binge watching that. One, two, and three. So the saying I wanted her to put was seeing isn't believing, believing is seeing. And she picked this rad print and then you guys just wait only i only i would have tim allen santa claus's face on a cup oh my god is that not it just makes me so excited all right you guys let's get on now i need to make diys <laughs>